I just had to restart my phone because it took me three attempts and I still couldn't add one sentence to a comment on YouTube. <laughs> the app kept freezing. I can add one sentence. One sentence. You can do more in some ways in Microsoft 1995 than you can on this phone. The Samsung Galaxy A14 Elite smartphone. One comment. Three attempts. You think it's going to take more than five or, ten, or up maybe ten? Over ten? I restarted it. So I got like better fighting odds that I can add one sentence to my comment. We're going to find out. I'm determined. I'll go over. I'll go, you know, 10, 15 tries. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes for the Samsung Galaxy A14 to just be as efficient as Microsoft 1995. 5, 10, 15 times? We're going to find out. After taking the uh, shrooms two days back to back, I split an eighth. I took one half the first day, the other half the second day. My mouth is still like. It sucks. It's like dry and dehydrated and like cut up. It's sore. I didn't know I was like a normal thing. It feels horrible. I've been so dehydrated. I don't know what strand it was. I've never felt like this dehydrated after uh, taking mushrooms for this long. My stomach. I've just been drinking water and just like flushing it out. And still, like parts of my body besides my mouth are just so dry and dehydrated. Mm. It's just like a weird, like, process and feeling. But, I mean, I like, it's not something that I'm, it's not like I'm not going to take them or anything next time. It's just, it's like a, it's like a hangover. Uh, you know, same kind of thing happens when you drink a lot of alcohol. Like, it's honestly not as bad as an alcohol hangover. It's like, part of an alcohol hangover if I were to drink if I were to have like 10 to 15 beers one night and I had like a two day hangover it was starting to happen when I was 27 maybe the two day hangovers sometime after 25 I'm just like I try to drink water and meditate that's that's my uh, like my go-to process for just anytime I feel sick for whatever reason, whether it's uh, an illness or hangover. Ooh. Right now, I can definitely feel because water is like a filter, and I can feel toxins like all in my body still. All. Oh. My stomach. <sighs> I think the more you meditate, the more like aware and present you are and able to like feel how off your body is. Like, I think before I meditated. Eating things like fast food, um, not getting as much sleep. Well, sl I think sleep's always been something that's been sensitive to me, because um, I've always gotten enough sleep for the most part. I've never really had. I didn't have any years or any like parts of years college a little bit maybe when I didn't like get as much sleep, and I was like drinking a lot, so I wasn't getting like good sleep on the weekends for like you know three days out of the weekend. But I would like sleep during the day a lot oh. I don't know I think the more you meditate you just you have a better sense of feeling your body and knowing if different parts of your body are off um, 
and even using it in a proactive way to address those areas um, and they don't they don't put like long term or they don't put strains for as long amount of like in a long amount of time on your body because of that because like I identify them quickly and then I proactively do things like you know if I'm hungover or sick or dehydrated um, water nutrition vitamins fruits vegetables I have them like I go straight for like those if I feel off because I know you know especially now what it feels like to eat you know be sick and eat an apple and then like half an hour hour later you know feel that difference know what that's like But yeah, I think it's definitely helped me stay uh, healthier and, you know, just probably like not age as fast because I'm not dealing with like sickness and illness and toxins and different things in my body that would cause, you know, more harm. It's just like a very like iterative thing. If you take care of things efficiently and effectively it's, it's it's collective it's a collaborative effort over time where you know collective effort over time makes a progressive and even could be exponential difference well Saturday today and I called the uh, called progressive which is the insurance through I mean it's always good to just the more knowledgeable you are about things the better off uh, things are I didn't know I didn't know I had like extra insurance until after until yesterday I had like extra insurance with Uber Eats I checked and I couldn't find it um, like a week ago so I just assumed I didn't have it uh, and my insurance that I pay for is limited. Um, so, like yesterday I found out that I have better insurance with Uber Eats when I'm driving. At least, like, working for them. Which is when I got the flats. And I called them today, and because this is the kind of stuff happens. Uh, that happens. It's, uh, like, Monday's a holiday. I'm pretty sure it's Labor Day. Today's Saturday. Pretty sure Saturday is a business day, but whatever. Like, I guess it's not. It's like 10 on Saturday. Like half a business day? I don't understand. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't care because, like, this is a setup that has everything that I need. And I can technically still drive the car, but I'm not going to because I don't need to. Because I have two skateboards and my skateboard was a little messed up yesterday. I rode around a lot yesterday, and it was fun, and this area is, like, really nice to skateboard in. There's, like, not as much traffic, uh, really flat, smooth roads and sidewalks, and there's just, like, not as much, like, there's, like, all these, like, businesses, and, like, some some businesses are just real estate properties that aren't owned or rented out by it to anybody. Um, it's, like, it's pretty sweet. I only went, like, a couple blocks down from where I am, but ride my skateboard, Planet Fitness, like, there's so much stuff right by me, restaurants, I walked to Planet Fitness yesterday, it's a half a mile, um, I did a lot of kettlebell, kettlebell stuff yesterday, so, for whatever, I can't work, but there's pros and cons to that, like, I can't make money, but I can just, this is gonna be, like, a three-day vacation for me, just gonna like skateboard work out i set up the hatch yesterday with my chair and read a little bit um yeah i mean i didn't even go like that far there's a home depot i skateboarded down and i found like a home depot um, i could use some super glue for this chair uh i could like i can't buy much i don't have much. i bought food yesterday i bought bread uh but i have like I have money for food, you know, for, like, the weekend and stuff, so, and I have, I still have, like, a good amount of food, so, 
It's like I'm set for like a three day vacation. It's all about mindset. It's all about how you look at stuff. Um, but it really is like no different. It's like I came here on my camper van and I just decided to stay in this town for like a week or like half a week. Like I used to camp every summer for a couple weeks. Um, and it was the best time. Some of the best times of my year. Every year. And I'm really enjoying the setup. I'm really enjoying that, like, how I have less stuff and I can find stuff easier. I'm sure there's basketball courts. I have my basketball. Uh, got the kettlebell right on the other passenger side on the outside. And I just, like, take it out. And I did uh, at least six sets yesterday of what I was doing. Stretched. Um, super excited about doing kettlebell burpees. And thinking about like different versions of how to do them and stuff. I was thinking about different exercises I could do with like push ups and the kettlebell. Um, but yeah, whatever. I'll get back on the road and I'll start working. It's like the beginning of the month. I have the whole month to pay off like two things like my insurance, like three things my insurance my uh speedy cash loan and my phone and it's like six hundred dollars and i can make and i made that in a week so yeah i don't know just gotta be careful but like now i know what's the important thing of the whole thing is that now i know like the ins and outs like i talked to uh customer service for uber eats i talked to customer service for progressive and now I know the ins and outs of my insurance policy with Uber Eats. And it's different than it was when I did it before. Um, you know, they updated it and it's better. It's nice. Um, like roadside assistance, I have damage protection. So as long as I'm working and doing Uber Eats, the odds that I'm high, I have better protection in an accident. Because I pay for like the bare minimum of my insurance. Which if I work more and I... You know, and this is a consistent thing, and I don't feel like I'm beating this up. And I might be able to leverage the auctions in the state, um, and my ability to like take a car for a test drive and talk to somebody and get a gauge on if it's a good buy with a little internet research. Um, yeah, there's definitely options and opportunities for me. I mean, I, like, I like this vehicle and it runs well, but, like, for the reasons I like it, I don't want to beat it up. Like, the I like having the hatch, having a vehicle like this to take to the beach is really nice. It has uh, a rig up top that I can attach, like, a solar panel to or other stuff. My bags are tied to it right now. Uh, it's, like, a power, a small, powerful SUV. I can uh, attach a... Um, something to tailgate and you know, I would have no problem pulling it or anything if I wanted to add a bike or something. So this is a very um, practical vehicle for the stuff that I want to do. So I don't really necessarily want to beat it up too much. So maybe if I beat it up and I make some money, I may like get another vehicle that I could drive around as well and do deliveries with and then take this on days when I don't do deliveries or something. I don't know. Like there's... I bought this for three grand. I can make, I made $600 in a week. You do the math. And there's more vehicles that are being bought and sold regularly and auctioned in this state in comparison to Texas. Fight me. I know I'm right. I know I'm fucking right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it if I wasn't right. It's like clear, noticeable differences. I, they, they just like, popped out in my face when I was like using Craigslist between the two states just the amount of more vehicles cheaper prices you can get them for supply and demand out here in California and then the fact that there's auctions there's probably auctions in Texas but I think there's more auctions in California and there's radio ads for people just giving away their vehicles like there's definitely way more selection of used vehicles in California and, like, the fact that people left and moved and they might have, like, left their vehicles here and stuff like that. Yeah. 
popular and like buying moving to Texas and like buying vehicles like all of these factors uh, relate to the fact that I could probably find a lot of high value cheap vehicles in the state it might be a good idea to like make money not here because gas prices are high like pop into Arizona pop into like Oregon wherever whatever states cl are close by Arizona's pretty close make money there if gas is like such a you know important factor in my job and gas is literally almost like twice as much in the state pop in Arizona pop in here get some cars sell some get a, whatever go to auctions and sell them um it's possible I, uh, I go on Google Maps to see, like, what's by me, like, what I can do for, like, a couple days while I'm here, and, uh, two blocks, two blocks in the other direction, opposite the, opposite direction that I walk to go to Planet Fitness, like, perpendicular direction, if I walk two blocks, there's a museum, and there's a skate park. <laughs> I don't know about the skate park, but I have to see how, could get some interesting content. Could get some very interesting content out of skate park. That is for sure. And there's a basketball court like between me and where the skate park is. This this town is just it's just a uh, a diamond a di a needle in a haystack diamond in the rough a di it's a diamond in a haystack. That's not I mean it makes sense. 